the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Jones, Captain, wherever you go, his boat will take you to all the nicest places he knows. Some people work in an office, some people like to work out of doors. Joshua Jones is in Grimm's pool today, loading up with scaffolding. Left a bit, Spanner. Right. No, no, left. Oh. That's right. Oh, but your mind. Will... Okay, hold it there. Oh. Now, lower away, but take your time. Got it? What? Time, yeah. Careful. Hi, Josh. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Ravi. But within a tick. Josh! Look out! Hey! Oh! 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 A spanner! Twelve o'clock. Dinner time. Fancy a bite, Josh? Uh, Josh? Josh? <sighs> spanner, you're as thick as, as one of your doorstep sandwiches. Maybe Trojan too big horse for little girl, really. I know how to handle horses. I've had riding lessons. Walk on. Walk on. <laughs> Trojan not had same lessons as you. He just wait for you to say, giddy up. Giddy up. <laughs> oh. You promised. Take care, Miss Fiona. I'm all right. Hmm. I think I keep eye on that young lady. You're a good diver, Josh. Just as well, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd have had me block knocked off. Lucky you weren't wearing your best clothes. <laughs> they were my best clothes. The Admirable Carrier is putting his finest geraniums on parade. Mm, not bad. Yes, an excellent turnout. A credit to the lock. Next duty, give them a jolly good watering. No! Now stop it, Trojan. You're supposed to eat oats. You are a silly horse. Hmm. You should be there somewhere. Oh, there she blows. Now, Trojan, I want you to listen very carefully, all right? Stay. Hello, Mr. Carrier. Is Robbie in? Oh, he's gone down to the... Oh, my geranium. Who left that horse there? He, he, shoo, shoo, clear off. Go, go. Leave my plants alone, you, you marauding miller. <laughs> What have I done? It's going to throw! Action stations! Action stations! Horse overboard! We must send for help, Fiona. Send a signal. Yes, good idea. Where's your phone? Up in the attic. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, the only way to send a distress signal. The Royal Navy way. Must get help. Oh, it's, oh, it's Fiona. Hello, Fee. Well, the thing is that Trojan's fallen in the, in, in the canal. 
Okay, where? Fiona, stop blathering. Just tell me where. Right, I'm on my way. Josh, would you come? Do you know which way Fiona gone? No. Why? She'd go for a ride on Trojan and I... On Trojan? Well, by the look of those tracks, I'd say to the lock. Oh, then everything okay. Hang on, Joe. I'm not sure it is. Quick, jump aboard. Huh? Why? Grab that top pole and a rope up front. Okay, Josh. Ravi, get the broom and that red and blue tea towel from the cabin. Josh, what's the matter? Poor Trojan. Signal received. Prepare for boarding party. It's Joshua! They've seen us. Come on, Fairport. You'll have to stay below. Mayday! Mayday! This way, horse overboard! OK, OK. Now, open the paddles to fill the lock. Trojan will float to the top. <laughs> Float him to the top. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, let's get the rest of the scaffolding. Come on. Oh, don't let me down now. See, Fiona, we put scaffolding up like bridge, so when Josh pulls the rope, it hauls Trojan up like, uh, like crane. All done here. How are you doing your end, Joe? Good and strong, Josh. Like you say. I just hope this contraption going to work. I'm sure it will, Mr. Lasky. <laughs> right, Josh. OK, let's get this show on the road. I'll have to risk full throttle. Come on! It's working, Josh! Oh, Fiona, Ravi, the planks. Fairport, we've done it. <sighs> Car trouble. Stand back, everybody. Where's the patient? There you are, true. <laughs> You'll be all right now. Just needs a few days rest, Mr. Lasky. Oh, that good news, Miss Peacock. Hey, Josh, you knew Trojan had fallen into the lock as soon as we came out of the tunnel, didn't you? Thanks to your granddad. Papa? Royal naval signals. Red diagonal cross means I need assistance. Red diamond means I am disabled. And a red, white and blue tea towel means yes, I understand your message. And, uh... What do those flags mean, Joshua? Oh, that, Fiona, is a very special message. It means if I end up in the canal once more, I won't have a dry thing left to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town.
Rations? Salad sandwiches? Explorer's compass? Nature notebook. There! We've got everything we need for a lovely boating trip. No, you mean heat dangerous canoe expedition? <laughs> oh, Ravi! Where did you get that feather from? Ah, come with me. I show. We're looking after him for Uncle Harish. Aren't you lucky? What's his name? Boomer. Boomer? What a funny name. Well, it's short for him. Uh... Hello, Boomer. Say hello. Does he talk? Oh, most certainly. Ravi's uncle is chief inspector at the Cranford bus depot. I don't understand. Watch this, then. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. All aboard, all aboard. Pass down the bus, please. Pass down the bus. <laughs> Isn't he clever? Airport, what are you up to? Come here, you scallywag. I don't know. How many times have I told you rabbits are not for chasing? This is Carrier Honest. I've got my life-saving badge. And me, heat foot swimmer. All right, then. Off you go. But mind you take care. And don't go any further than the white railings. Do you hear? We won't. All right. Dig, paddle deep, little white dear. Easy, easy there. You will get your rations all in good time. Blustering barnacles! Look what you've made me do. Ravi's uncle should teach you better manners. Birdseed all over the floor. Now I don't want any more of that so Oh! Heavens! Midi! Midi! All hands on deck! Bapuji? Whatever's the matter? Boomers jumped ship! This is it. Dead man's pool. Keep your eyes skinned for man-eating crocodiles. Stop it! You, you don't get crocodiles in canals. What's over there? Me not know. Indian territory finish at white railings. Hello, hello. What's the admirable up to? Can you see him, Babuji? No, not yet. Blustering ship jumper. Here, Boomer. Come to Daksa. Look what I've got for you. Naughty boy. Ah, he's there. A stern. Behind <gasps> you. No fair fort. I think you better stay here. What's going on? Dad. Shh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Leave it to me. He 
is heading for Cranford. <sighs> Fairport, I'll strangle you. You know, Ravi, when you become a real vegetarian like me, you can't even eat fish. Mm. And I like this lettuce sandwiches. Hey, look! A kingfisher! Are you kidding me? Where? I just saw something blue fly into that bush. Bin bin! Fall apart! Fall apart! It's Boomer! He must have escaped. Come on, we can catch him. Use me fishing net. Fiona, you're not paddling. Lie still, Fairport. What's wrong with you? You've done enough damage for one day. Something seems to be pulling. Ravi, look! Oh, no! What is it, Fairport? Struth, the weir. I told you not to go past the railings, didn't I? Yes, Mum. You're more important to me than a silly parrot. If it hadn't been for Josh... Where is Boomer. Did you catch him? Sorry, Admirable. Got away, I'm afraid. No, oh, I'm scuppered. Whatever will Uncle Harish say? Ah! Down. It's Boomer. He's come back on his own. I've just remembered what Boomer's short for. Boomerang. He always comes back on his own. Ding ding. All about. All about. <laughs> ah! Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua.
It's very quiet down at Bigot's Wharf today. Too quiet. Hello? Anybody about? Spanner? Hmm. Place is deserted, Fairport. Hang on. What's this? It's from Wilton Cashmore. Please deliver tin of paint to Cranford Depot. All that way for this? <laughs> well, Fairport, it's their money. No, no, no. Champagne glasses on the right, Mrs. Carrier. On the right. When Mr. and Mrs. Bigot come to tea, everything has to be perfect. So, what would you like me to do now? Take the rest of the day off. But don't you want me to serve tea? No, don't you worry yourself about that. I'll manage. <laughs> Wilton Cashmore, what are you up to? Well, I think I'll go into Grimm's Pool and do some shopping. Yes, good idea, Mrs. Carrier. You have a nice time. Right, that's another one out of the way. Can't risk having Joshua Jones and his friends around when the managing director of Bigot Industries pays a visit. <laughs> Sharon? Liar! Have you seen Spanner around? Cashmore's given him the day off. What? He said he ought to have a day in country for to get some fresh air. So he's gone to help Joel Lasky get his air in. Cashmore's either gone loopy or he's up to something. Hey, you're closing a bit early, aren't you? Yeah. I've got this job helping out a friend of mine what's got a catering business. Ta da! Struth. Oh, this hair weighs a ton. Good exercise for you, Ravi. Build up your muscles. I can carry three at a time. Easy. Why don't you then? Hey, well, because Fiona, I'm having what's known as a, a day off. I'm thirsty. Me too. Hey, have you been drinking our pop? What? Uh, no, no, there you are, Fiona. Thanks, Banner. Hey, you lot. I thought you'd come help me. We got our blooming field still to do. And here you are, having a picnic. Just getting our strength up, Joe. Want a booty? No, oh, thanks, no time. I must get finished before storm come. Rotten wet hay make cows sick. What makes you think there's a storm coming? I not think, Spanner. I know. I got bunion, what always twitch if rain on the way. Oh, that's handy. What a lovely date for me. Mr. Bigot's coming to tea. Another full of all, Mrs. Bigot. Yes, they are very nice. Where's that silver service waiter got to? I told them three o'clock. Ah, excellent. Come in. Hiya! <gasps> you! What's up, Mr Cashmore? Haven't you never seen a waitress before? You all right, Fairport? Something the matter, old fruit? Ah, thunder. Go on, then. You go inside. <laughs> Yes, somebody's going to get a soaking. Joe Lasky's hay. It'll be ruined. Hold tight, Fairport. We're going into overdrive. Hey, this do you good, Spanner. Oh, do me in more like. <laughs> Last one. <coughs> Spanner. Oh, blow it, Omar. Give it here. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah, Joe. Ah. That's it. We done it. Now I take hay up to barn. No, oh, you stay up there, Joe. I'll drive. Okie dokie. I'm an expert tractorizer. <clears throat> oh, well, you take care, Spanner. Go steady. I not want any. Oh! Hey, lovely. This is more like it, eh? <laughs> hey, oh, holy baloney. Oh. oh, hey! 
Spanner, not that way. You're heading straight for the ditch. No problem. If I do, I blink and swear. I think you've got a flat tire. Oh, I think I like flatten your head. Look at my hay. Eh? Oh, it get ruined. Look, it's Josh. He'll know what to do. Get ready, Fairport. Go. Right. Load the bales onto the boat. I'll back into the tunnel. That way the hay will stay dry. Okay? I asked for a silver service waiter, not a, Excuse me. a, a cafe girl. I am about to Mr. play Cashmore. host to a very important Mr. Cashmore! VRP. It's starting now... to rain! What? Quick, get everything inside. Oh, all the work I've put into these preparations. All the care and, 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 and work. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Stupid girl. What? Oh, save me. Come on, Spanner. Keep them coming. Oh, oh, oh it's starting to rain. Rabbit, cast off. Right, everybody on. Oh, Josh, we this one. We'll get it, Mr. Lansky. Come on. What shall I do, Josh? Stay put, Fiona. It's too late. Mr. Bigot, Mrs. Bigot, um, awful weather we're having at the moment. <coughs> Anybody care for a volleyball? Uh, yeah, homemade. <coughs> Blooming Omer, Ravi, that could have been you. You should never go under trees in a thunderstorm. Trees attract lightning, don't they, Josh? This one certainly did. Well then, the next thunderstorm, what we have. I'm going to stand right here. Why? Because lightning never strikes the same place twice, does it? <laughs> what matter, Spanner? I only start tractor up. And this was supposed to be my day off. I'd rather be at work. <laughs>
Just next door to the lock cottage, Joe Lasky and Josh are planting some silver birch trees. Uh, uh, there, that should do the trick. Mm. They only little know, but one day grow into big, beautiful trees. You are lucky, Ravi. I wish I could see trees from my house. Morning, Fiona. I've been thinking. I got other silver birch trees. What you can have? All you got to do is dig holes for plant them. Wouldn't that be good? Hey, your dad would perhaps do that. <laughs> be a miracle if he did. <laughs> Hey, Asha, what do you think? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Spanner. You see, what I really want is some proper sunshades, like what they have in them cafes in France. Oh, well, them sort of things cost money, and I'm dead broke. Good for nothing, mailbox. Never where he should be. Oh, bloody number. Here comes trouble. The new filing cabinets have arrived for the wharf office. Why haven't you cleared that old desk out like I asked you? I was just getting my strength on, Mr. Gasper. Oh, he's a proper little slave driver. No, 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 not like that, you half-twit. Hey? Lift it, man, lift it! Right. Yes! Oh, yes, Mr. Bigot. Uh, what do you want me to do with it now, Mr. Cashmore? Of course, Mr. Bigot. Yes, I'll... Do. Chop it up. Burn it. Whatever you usually do with old rubbish. But first, I want these taking it inside. What? All of them? Ooh, I'll need another sarny. Bowline, line, Ravi. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Lashings of mayonnaise. Mm. It's action, man. Morning, Spanner. <laughs> What's this? Got the boss's job. The boss? What? Where? What do you mean? You, sitting behind a desk. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Cashmore's throwing it out. What? A fine old desk like this? Hey, now I wonder if... <laughs> Hey, that's brilliant. Have a look inside. I once found a gold sovereign in one of these hidey holes. Really? Let me look. No, no, I don't think... Hang on a minute, Josh. What you got? Feels like paper or something. Hey, it's like a map. July 7th, 1864. Silver something bridge. Come on, let's have a look. Silver bird. Hey, everybody! <laughs> look what I brought you. Chocolate cake. Silver mm. buried. Very silver. Look what you got there, treasure. That's it. Treasure. It's a treasure map. What? See, there's a sort of diagram. Bookby Bridge? That's the bridge by my cat. Yeah, 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 you're right. Come on. We're going to be rich. You can have hundreds of sunshades for the cafe. Oh, Spanner! Oh, you are wonderful. Come on, Josh. Spanner's taken the map. Oh, don't need it yet, Ravi. Real treasure hunters always start by doing some detective work. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Uh, you dig here, Sha. Yes, love. And I'll start. Over there. Now, you must always check your atmospherics before you dig your archaeologicals. How deep do I have to go? Just till you find the treasure. You've got some lovely flowers in your garden, Mrs. Carrier. Oh, that's where they came from. Now, we must remember to change the water. That way, they'll last longer. Look, it's Josh and Ravi! Hi, Mum. I've been a detective. We're going to Bafu to look for clues. 
Not being a nuisance, is it, Josh? No, not at all. Oh, Jones, has Spanner finished shifting those cabinets yet? Uh, yes, Mr. Cashmore. Uh, I think I think no. he has. Spanner's at the cafe. He's what? Right, that's it. Wait till I get home. I'll wring his neck. <laughs> Something. Yes, it's an old pilchard tin. Oh, Spanner, I haven't found one bit of treasure yet. Just keep digging. Go on, try somewhere else. Where? I don't know. The map doesn't say exactly where. I've just about had enough of that Spanner dodging off. Spanner? What the devil's going on? Oh, uh, we just, uh... What's that? What? Behind your back. It's not a treasure map, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no! Don't what? Let's have a look. Silver? Eleven tons? Give me that spade! Wait, sixty-two. No, that's not the one. Well, I'm scuppered, Joshua. It should be here. These are all the canal records going back to 1832. Hey, what about these, Bapu? Oh, no, gardening magazines. Oh. Well, I've got to get back to work, Admiral. Ah. So if we don't find it soon... Hang on, Josh. I think I've found something. Is this it? Hmm? It was propping up your table. Ah, Clearwater Canal accident reports. 1863-67. Let's have a look. Uh, 63, 1864. Ah, here we are. Yes? Yes, just what I thought. Well done, Ravi. Ten out of ten for detective work. No treasure? What do you mean? Look, it says here, book the bridge, 11 tons silver. Yeah? Silver buried. <laughs> no, Spanner. Not silver buried. Silver bird. That was the name of a narrowboat. It was carrying 11 tons of flint and it sank near Buckby Bridge. You mean. <coughs> you mean. You idiot. Idiot! I suppose uh, I'd better start filling in. Hang on a touch, Spanner. I think I know what we could do with all these holes. Eh, hey, Fiona? You'll see trees from your house, Fiona. Silver birches. <laughs> so we got our silver after all. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lasky. Better than umbrellas. Sharon's cap will look just like them in France. <laughs> Bonjour, everybody. <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh la la. Would Monsieur's care for a glass of vino? Bottoms up. Some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Jones can live wherever he goes. Down by the waterside, or any place the water flows. La 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 la, if that's the life he knows.
Down at the lock cottage, there's been a new addition to the carrier household. He's me very own pet. Dead good, isn't he? A tortoise! It's all right, I suppose. He likes you to scratch his neck. Oh! You scared him! Come on, you pair, if you're coming. You to bit the wolf by, too. Have you thought of a name for him? No, not yet. Bye, Bapu. Cheerio. I think you should call him Timmy Timmy. <coughs> Fairport, <coughs> no, come away. Come here. <coughs> what is it? What's he got? Under there, Joshua. Look, look, under there. <coughs> OK, Fairport, that's enough. <coughs> enough. Baby bunny! I'll be scuppered. Is it all right? I think so. No, it's not. Look! It's shivering, poor little thing. <laughs> Fiona will look after you. It's only frightened. Look, uh, I'm a bit pushed for time. Daxa, would you... Um... All right, Josh. I'll explain. Come on, Ravi. Scoot. Um, Fiona, there's That's some... Elite. Mrs. K. Yes. There you are. Doesn't that look healthy? Ooh, rabbit food. I thought I was having meat pie. <laughs> Pies make you fat, mm. treasure. And you're Ooh. fat enough. Ooh. Oh, Sharon. I'm putting you on a diet. Mm. Oh, are you, Josh? Spanner, we've got those pipes down at the wharf, remember? Don't just sit there pigging all day. Not much chance of that. Radish. <gasps> I might have known it. Skiving as usual. Didn't me about it. Warwick, here comes trouble. <laughs> Spanner, why aren't you at the wharf? Hmm? It's me dinner time, Mr Cashmore. It's always your <laughs> dinner time. It's all right, Treasure. You can take your dinner with you. Ooh, thanks for nothing. Ooh. Come on, man. I want to see you loading up. Right you are, Mr Cashmore. Anything you say. <laughs> Step on it, man. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. Oi, Tasha. <laughs> look after it really well. I know you would, Fiona. But this isn't a pet. It's a wild creature. It belongs with its own kind. It will be all right, Fiona. I know, but it's not fair. <laughs> Off you go. That's it. You make friends with Fairport. Oh. Okay, Spanner. Let's get rolling. Right, yeah. <sighs> Jones, come into the office, would you? I need you to sign some papers. Right, Mr. Cashmore. <sighs> Now get those pipes loaded, Jones. You haven't touched your dinner. Um, I seem to have lost me appetite. Oh, well, in that case, you won't mind if I have it. Very important meeting in Cranford. No time for a proper lunch. <laughs> proper lunch? What a cheek. Josh! Spanner! He's gone! Me tortoise! He's gone! Here, boy. Come on. Uh, what's his name, Ravi? I haven't given him one yet. Oh. Uh, 
Here, uh, thingy. Come to Uncle Spanner. Ooh, what's that? Ravi, there's something in this pipe. Oh, stunning, Sharon. Ooh, time I wasn't here. Actually, I could probably reach him. Uh. Ooh, he feels, um... Uh, ooh. There, look. You've got it now. All right, I know how you feel. I haven't had my own dinner yet. Daphne Peacock Veterinary Centre. Yes, I understand. Okay, Josh. I'm on my way. Come on, man. What's the problem? <sighs> Old seaboards, Mr. Cashmore. Get those gates open. I'm in a hurry. In my business, time is money. Slow coaches don't get anywhere. Ooh. Is he all right? I'm not sure. In fact, I think this tortoise is... <laughs> e meat pie! <laughs> Mr. Ruth, what's that doing in there? Back! One plate of tortoise food coming up. <clears throat> oh. Uh, 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 yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 lovely lettuce this, Sharon. Mm. Oh, yum, yum. Mm, really healthy. <laughs> We did, Mum. We looked everywhere. He's gone. Forever. Oh, dear. It's not been a good day for animal lovers. I'm sure he'll be all right. He won't. He's not wild. <coughs> oh, no. Fairport, I bet he's found another rabbit. Shoot. Clear off. The little blighter was trying to eat my lettuce. Oh, my tortoise. <laughs> Lucky Ravi. Better eye on him in future. Oh, I will. <laughs> Won't we, Fiona? We? You can share him with me if you like. Oh, Ravi, I'd love to. Oh. You still haven't got a name for him. How about... Tear away Trevor! <laughs> some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua the factory. 
This morning, Joshua Jones is down at Bigot's Wharf, loading up with farm chemicals. OK, Spanner, lift away. Fairport, come here. That's nasty stuff in those drums. To me now. Keep it coming. No, Spanner, not there. Spanner, that stack's too high. Too high for what? Oh, Stroop, take cover! Come on! Come on! I'm coming! I'm coming! Get your head down! Um, What do we do now, Josh? We get ourselves some protective gear and clear that lot up. Can't we leave it till after me dinner? No, we can't. For once, Wilton Cashmore seems to be in his boss's good books. That's very kind of you to say so, Mr. Bigot. Oh, yes, I do like a bet on the horses. Oh, you've got a hot tip. Oh, hold on a second. I'll get a pencil. Right, uh, the horse is Bigot's banquet. Oh, and it can't lose. Mm. I'll certainly put a bet on. Oh, uh, Mr. Bigot, may I? No problem cleaning your plate, Spanner. Yeah, well, it's cleaning that blooming wharf that's given me an appetite. Josh, come quickly. There's something wrong with Fairport. I think he's hurt. He was, like, bumping into things. What's the matter with him? Hard to tell. Seems to have got something in his eyes. White powder. Oh, Struth. It's that stuff. You're quite safe, little chap. We'll be there in a tick. He's... He's, he's not going blind, is he? That's too early to say, Josh. Now, there's a new eye ointment I'd like to try, but it's very expensive. Perhaps 30 or 40 pounds. Whatever you think best. Josh, where are you going to get 40 pounds from? No idea. Ravi and me could earn the money for you, couldn't we? Yeah. How? Oh, well, we could. We could do a sponsored walk. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Josh? I think I'm very lucky to have such good friends. Thank you, Daphne. I knew I could rely on you. How are we doing? We still need more sponsors. Who haven't we asked? Oh, hold your horses, Mr. Cashmore. Oh, give us a rest. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? It's heavy, Mr. Cashmore. Nonsense. You're just out of condition. Worth a try. Oh, hey, blinking head. It's always me that gets the heavy work. Oh. Everybody else is helping, Mr. Cashmore. Even him? Yes. Spanner's going to walk with us, aren't you? Am I? Spanner? Spanner couldn't walk more than a... Hang on just a minute. I've reconsidered. I will sponsor one of you for two pounds per mile. What do you say to that? Oh, Daddy, thank you. Who? Spanner. <laughs> Hope you've got some good soles on those boots, Ravi. This just like start of Olympic marathon, what I see on telly. It's good legs that he'll need, eh, Mrs. Carrier? Well, he does enough cycling. And it's a lovely day here at Ainscott for what for me is the highlight of the horse racing season. The Aren't you coming to watch, day. Mr. Cashmore? They're just about to ah, set the off. Are now coming into the parade ring. Don't panic, folks. I'm here. What on earth have you got in that rucksack? Well, there's two basins of my treacle pudding. An old load of other stuff what Mr Cashmore gave me. Just trying to help the boy along. Trying to slow him down, more like. Right, everybody. Best foot forward. Sure. I'm just wondering, which is my best foot? Oh, use either of them. They're both lovely. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad 
Spanners carrying that rucksack, not me. I hope he's still with us. He just better be. Treasure? Are you all right? Oh, I'm having a bit of trouble with my legs. They won't do what I tell them. Argus fancy, ten to one. Bigot's banquet, favorite. Favorite? Well, I'd rather give my money to the lifeboat fund. No, the horse for me is Lord Nelson. Hi, Bapu. Are we doing well? Spanner's behind us, somewhere. Can you make sure he goes the right way? Aye, aye, Josh. Message understood. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Oh, why? It's no good running. I need some of Sharon's treacle pudding to get me strength up. Oh, I can see the horses now making their way down to the start. So I'll hand you straight over to Gerald Platt. Hey, clear off. Get your own dinner. Because Banquet seems to be giving his jockey a bit of trouble. Get a grip, man. Oh, he certainly looks raring to go. Oh, 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 that! That's my boy. They're understarted orders, and... <laughs> they're all good. And it's Argos fans who can be followed by Nero Town. And it's Bigot's yes, Banquet moving up on, in the first come position. Come on, come on, come on! Good job, man. It looks like they're all over. Yes, they're all over. Do your... Argos fans are doing well, but it's Bigot's Banquet coming up on the inside. The rest of the field close behind. They're at the water jump, and Bigot's Banquet just flies <laughs> But there's still three folks. The right turn, pressing hard. Oh, and Lord Nelson followed him. Oh, come on, Nelson. Followed by Dan Foy. And it was Lord Nelson oh, showing on the outside. Get off your bonnet. What's up with you? He's jumping his back without in front. No, Spanner. Oh, Turn right no. here. To starboard. Oh, you're going the wrong way. There's no stopping him now. At the finishing post, he's big as Banky. Yes, I'm going to go. And Lord Nelson. 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 I expect he just gave up. Ooh, that Spanner. Wait till I get hold of him. Our boy Spanner not made it, eh? <laughs> oh, what a shame. That means I don't have to pay up, doesn't it? <laughs> Mr. Cashmore, it's Spanner. He wants to know if you'll give him a lift back from Cranford. He must be joking. Let him walk. But that's nine miles away. That's 18, 18 times, times two pounds. It's 36. Yeah. Daddy, we've worked out how much you'll have to pay when Spanner gets back. It comes to 36 pounds. 36 pounds. I've been stung. Ooh, I think I've worn the soles off my feet. You're terrific, Spanner. What? You're our hero. And here's your special reward. Treacle pudding? No! Stings! Uh, Keep it away! Uh, Keep it away! No! There you are, Fairport. See anybody you know? <coughs> you can see! How wonderful! Wonderful indeed. Thanks, Daphne. <laughs> mm.